welcome to that scene. With over 20 Bond movies released through five decades, the James Bond series has had more than its fair share of great villains. Many have been parodied and copied over the years, and their influence can't be overstated. But which ones really stand out, as the most memorable and iconic villains of the series? Here is our list of the top 10. Enjoy. Outstanding. No list of villains would be complete without including Le Chiffre, from Casino Royale. He brought a much-needed freshness to the reboot of the series, and was one of the better villains, of the post-80s era. The intense battle on and off the poker table, was reminiscent of some of the climactic gambling scenes in the Ian Fleming novels. With his creepy eye, sly demeanor, and, as if anyone could forget, his comical torture scene. I died? Yes. Because no matter what you do, I'm not going to give you the password, which means your clients are going to hunt you down. You are so wrong! Le Chiffre is the perfect place to start and well-deserving of 10th place. Number 9. Francisco Scaramuña. Christopher Lee had originally been put forward for the role of Dr. No by his step-cousin, Ian Fleming. Unfortunately for him, the producers had already cast Joseph Wiseman, but Lee got his chance again 12 years later. Forgive me, Mr. Bond. A vulgar display, but I couldn't resist it. Because I am so delighted to see you again. He accepted the role of Francisco Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun. This is the part I really like. Number 8, Nick Knack. Of course, you can't list Scaramanga without immediately thinking of his small butler and sidekick. His cheeky attitude, added a lot of humor to the film, and he worked surprisingly well alongside Christopher Lee. From a minigun and peanuts, to suitcases and bottles of wine, there's no shortage of entertainment with Nick Knack around. Number 7, Mr. Big and Dr. Kanya. American actor Yafit Kato joined the Bond series in 1973, playing politician Dr. Kanya and big time gangster Mr. Big in Live and Let Die. Dr. Kanya is a com prime minister of San Monique, an island used to grow drugs that were to be smuggled into America. He would don a rubber face mask to become his alter ego Mr. Big, the ruthless gangster, who controls most of Harlem. He played the two characters well, and brought a unique contribution to the series. Kanima, alongside his tarot reading mistress Solitaire, remains a popular and well-known villain amongst fans. Somehow I never thought of you as a poor loser. His death by a Code 2 filled bullet was a little cheesy. Number 6, Jaws Jaws is the quintessential bigger-than-life bad guy, and without doubt the most well-known of the Bond villains. Introduced in The Spy Who Loved Me, seven-foot-tall Richard Keel brought to life the steel giant, lending the film a unique charm. He proved so popular that the producers brought him back for the next film, Moonraker. His second appearance came with a rather cheesy love affair, but Jaws remains a favorite among fans, and has gone down in history as one of the best villains in cinema history. Well, here's to us. Number 5, Red Grant. Red Grant was a psychopathic killer working for Spectre, with the objective of stealing the Lecter decoding machine, and killing James Bond. Pick up a car, there. A truck in fact. And 
That must be about 20 miles from here. Appearing in From Russia with Love, Grant was played by English actor Robert Shaw, who would later star in the film Pause. Mr. Mayor, Chief, ladies and gentlemen. Shaw played the role perfectly really making the pages of the novel come to life on the screen. From the knuckle duster punch on Spectre Island, to the impersonation aboard the Orient Express, it was a great performance all throughout. Number 4, Rosa Kleb. With a poison-tipped steel shoe knife, and a whip, what's not to love about this torture-famed smash defector? Appearing in From Russia with Love, Lot Lenya was a perfect match for the role of Rosa Kleb. Clip, defected to Spectre, and led a mission to steal a lector decoding machine, and humiliate the British Secret Service. Lenya, was fierce and demanding to her subordinates, who she had handpicked for the mission. But when Bond turned out to be too much for them, Cleb was left trembling at the hands of Blofeld. We do not tolerate failure, number three. You know the penalty. Yes. Number one. Our rules are very simple. If you fail... <laughs> number three, Odd Job. Odd job, the personal bodyguard to Aura Goldfinger in 1964's Goldfinger. Odd job is widely remembered for the scene where he throws a steel rim bowler hat at a statue, slicing off its head. He would later repeat the same routine, killing Bond girl Tilly Masterson. Harold Zalcata was perfect for the role of the silent man, bringing an aura of strength and danger to the character. Number 2, Goldfinger Goldfinger, was not only one of the best James Bond films, but also won the best casting choices of the series. German actor Gert Frobe played the role of Ora Goldfinger, and he was the perfect match. He didn't speak English, which caused a bit of confusion on the set. Oh, you must excuse our job, Mr. Bond. He's an admirable man servant, but mute. But he fit in well with the rest of the cast. His appearance, gestures, and mannerisms were well suited for the character, and he is arguably one of the closest matches in the series to the character in the novel. Goldfinger also spoke the most memorable and oft-quoted line of the James Bond films. No Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. I do not intend to be distracted by another. Good night Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Number 1, Ernst Stavro, Blofeld. No matter how iconic Goldfinger is, there is no dispute that the ultimate villain in the series is in fact Ernst Stavro Blofeld, the notorious leader of Spectre. Not only did he have the most appearances of all the villains in the series, he also had a notable presence in the novels, something that deserves recognition. He was an integral part of the Blofeld trilogy of novels Thunderball, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, and You Only Live Twice, which are probably favorite three novels in the series. But the end cannot be far away. <laughs> Put me down! Oh, you want to get up? Mr. Bond! Thank you, for taking the time to watch another video of, that scene. Please be sure to click the thumbs up button, comment and click the subscribe icon for more upcoming videos. Take care.